Good afternoon, year six. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and good at home. So welcome once again to Best Montessori Distance Learning e Portal, and welcome to your English class. Today we are going to start the second chapter of the second unit. That is, the name of the chapter is On Strike. So let us start the chapter. How would you feel if you had to leave your school and friends and move to another town? Yes. How will you feel? Will you feel good? How would you feel? Yes. You will not feel good if you have to leave your school and friends and you have to move to another town. On Strike is a short story written by Giovanni Guerreschi, a famous Italian writer. So, On Strike is a story based on this only that a family has to move from one town to another town and the children they are. Sad because they have to leave their school and they have to leave their school and move to another school. The narrator Giovannino, Margherita, his wife, Albertino, his son, and Carlotta, his daughter, have moved from the city of Milan to a house in the countryside. So first they were living living in the city of Milan and now they have moved to the another house in the countryside. The girl usually called the Duchess and is unhappy about leaving her old school. So the name of the daughter is Carlotta but usually they call her by the name Duchess. So she is unhappy about leaving her old school and friends behind. She is not happy because she has to leave her old school and her old friends. Now read on to see how the family faces the situation. So this is the gist of the story that the story is about a girl who is not happy at all because she has to leave her old school and old friends as her father has moved to a new house in the countryside. So let us begin the story. Okay. When I came home for lunch, I was surprised to find the Duchess absent from the table. Where is she? I asked Margareta. She is on strike, said Margareta. So when I came home for lunch, who is I here? Yes, I is Gavine, no. So, father. I is here, father. So, father, when father came for lunch, he was surprised to find that Duchess was absent from the table. Duchess is the doctor. So, she, uh, so he asked his wife, Margareta, where is she? So, Margareta replied that she is on strike. She is up in the apple tree, Albertino explained. Who is Albertino? his son. So Albertino said that Margaret, uh, that Duchess is up in the apple tree. She say, stays there all day and we send food in a basket. The strike's been on since yesterday. So she is on the strike since yesterday. She sits on the apple tree and we send her food in the basket on the apple tree only. But what's the matter? What's the strike about? So father is asking why she is on strike. For what thing she is on the strike? Margareta threw up her hands in despair. I went out and over to the apple tree where the Duchess was perched. Stop being silly and come down, I ordered. So father went to the apple tree and asked Duchess to stop behaving like a silly person and come down and have lunch with them. Perched means seated on a branch of a tree. So, Duchess was sitting on a branch of a tree. Father told her to stop behaving like a silly person and come down and have lunch with them. Instead of answering, she climbed up higher. I went back to the house. So, instead of giving answer to her father, what she said? She climbed up the tree a little bit more higher. There I found Albertino putting food into a basket. No more of that, I told him. So father, when father saw that Albertino was putting food in the basket to give to Duchess, father told, now you will not do like this. If she is hungry, she can come down and eat at the table. The, he told his, Father told his son that you will not give her food in the basket. If she is feeling hungry, she will come down and eat the food at the table. After some time, a light began to dance 
all over opposite the window that was the signal she made with the mirror when she had something to say albertino got up and went outside so after some time well, like you people play in the class sometime no with your watch or with a glass thing glass like thing that sun rays fall on that and then you <coughs> have a ray of light in the class in the same way they saw a ray of light in the room it was a <coughs> sign that duchess want to say something so albertino went out to listen to duchess a few minutes later he came with the latest news she says she hasn't had anything to eat since this morning she is afraid that she may faint and fall margarita's eyes opened wide but i signaled to her not to move so what was Duchess when Albertino went out to listen to Duchess what did Duchess say she said that she has not eaten anything since morning why because father has stopped Albertino not to give food in the basket if she is feeling hungry she will come down and have her food at the table only so so she called Albertino and said that she has not eaten anything since morning so she is afraid that she may so she is feeling weak and she is afraid that she may faint and fall down take a long leather strap from the car in the garage to her i told albertino so what did the father reply father said that you will not give her the food but instead you take a long leather strap from the car uh, take a long leather strap from the car in the garage and give it to her so that why why he told to give a long leather strap to duchess the safest way is to wind it around her body just below the armpits that way if she feels tired this evening she can go to sleep without the fear of falling so that she may she he told albertino to take that long strap of leather from the car and give it to duchess so that she may tie herself up with that long leather strap because she was complaining that she may faint and fall so she may so she may tie herself up with that long leather strap and she will not fall down and she may go to sleep whenever she is feeling sleepy albertino dashed off and later came back to report she didn't want the strap so albertito albertino did the same what his father told he took the strap to duchess but that duchess said that she doesn't want the strap 5 minutes later the duchess was at the door behind albertino so all of a sudden what the family saw that duchess was standing at the door i asked her why she didn't sit down at the table she replied that she was waiting for certain people to go away so her father asked her that why she is not sitting at the table now when she has come down from the apple tree and she is standing at the door then she should sit at the table and eat the food but she was not sitting at the table so father asked her why you are not sitting at the table she said i will not sit because i am waiting for certain people to go away and who was those certain people her father because she was angry with her father and why she was angry because her father has moved to the other town in the country side and she had to for because of that she had to leave her old friends and old school you are right i said there is nothing worse than bad company 10 minutes later she sat down and was having her lunch so after 10 minutes she sat on the table and had her lunch all of a sudden she began to sob sob means what cry very softly margareta asked me to leave her alone and reminded me that she was a very sensitive little girl so when she started crying margareta told her husband that not to talk to her right now let her cry and because she was a very sensitive little girl then albertino explained it started yesterday morning when the postman brought her a parcel it was a scrap book it was a scrap book from her teacher in milan so albertino started explaining to his father that she is went on a strike since yesterday why because postman brought her a parcel and in that parcel there was a scrap book which that scrap book was sent by her teacher in milan her classmates had written something on the pages she saw the pictures and she began to cry so in that scrap book her classmates had written something for her and they have drawn some pictures also when she saw that pictures and when she read those things she began to cry why because she remembered her old school and her old friends 
I understand that, I said, but I don't see why she climbed a tree. So, what her father said? Her father said, like, I can understand all these things that you are sad because you had to leave your old school and friends. But what is this that you will climb a tree to show your anger? That is not good. She went on a strike, Albertino explained. So, Albertino said that she climbed a tree because she wanted to show her anger. She wanted to show that she is on a strike. On strike, I said in surprise. A strike to protest against injustice. But what's unjust about a group of schoolgirls sending a token of affection to an old friend? So, Albertino was explaining that she was having a strike to protest against the injustice. But her father told her, what was the injustice? That injustice, what was the unjust act? That act that her old friends remembered her and sent her a token of love. When she saw that token of love and she climbed up the tree, that is not good. The touches raised her head. The injustice is that their old friends is no longer with them. She is here. So at that time, Duchess said that injustice is not that her friends are sending her a token of love, that scrapbook in which they have written something and they have sent the photographs. The injustice is that that she is no longer with the old friends. Why? Because old friends are in Milan and we have shipped it to another town. I am here too, far away from the people I used to work with, but I am not climbing trees. My toe irritated her and she began sobbing harder. So her father told that I am also here, I am also away from those people with whom I used to work with, but I am not climbing up the trees. I am just doing my work. He has taken everything away, he, she shouted. So now before she was sobbing and now her anger grew more harder. She said, he has taken everything away. She shouted, my friends, my teacher, my home. He dragged me out of the city and brought me out here to a hut. I had all I wanted before and now I have nothing. What does he care? And she dissolved into an ocean of tears. Now because she was full of anger, so she started speaking harsh words for her father. She said, like before we were staying in a city and we had everything what we wanted. Now we are staying outside the city in the, and, and he has taken away all my friends, my school, my teachers, my home, everything. We don't have anything what we want. So he, he doesn't care for anything for us. And she dissolved into an ocean of tears. I still don't understand. I insisted. I still don't understand. I insisted. All these things have been taken away from your brother as well. But he doesn't seem to be sorry. So her father told. Now since you are complaining that I have taken away all the things from you. Your friends, your teachers, your school, your home, everything. All these things I have taken away from your brother also. But your brother is not complaining about these things. So what... She told to her father, he is a man, as long as he gets all he wants to eat and drink, he doesn't care where he is. So see what excuse she is giving to her father, that my brother is a man. So as long as he will get all the things what he wants to eat and drink, he will, not he will not complain about anything. Because what all he wants is good food and drinks and he is getting here, so he is least bothered about other things. I decided that it was time to settle things once and for all. I gather your life here is unbearable. Now I'd like to hear what your mother has to say. So now her father said, Okay, I have made your life unbearable. Now your brother is not complaining about this. Let me ask your mother whether your mother is complaining about this or not. That we have moved to another town. Whether your mother has also got a complaint against this. Margareta was turning over the pages of a magazine. Very well, I get it, I said. Tomorrow the two of you can go back to Milan. Tomorrow the two of you can go back to Milan while I'll stay here. So her father said that because when he said, let me ask the mother also whether she has got any complaint. So mother did not say anything and she was simply turning over the pages of magazine. She did not say whether she has got any complaint or not. So her father told like, okay, I think your mother is also not happy. So both of you can go back to Milan tomorrow while me and Albertino will remain here.
means father and brother will remain here mother and daughter will go back to milan margareta said don't be silly i am quite all right here i'd rather suffer in silence here than in milan so at that time when his fa- when her father declared that mother and daughter will go back to milan and father and son will remain here in the on this town at that time margareta said that don't be silly i want to remain with my family only i would like to remain in milan with all of you rather i would like to remain here only with all of you rather going back to milan me too said the duchess i turned to albertino what about you i am not suffering he answered calmly so at that time when her mother also said that i would like to live here only with all of you with my family at that time duchess understood the importance of family and she said that i would also like to live with my family me too that i would also like to live my family and albertino was already not having any complaint so all of them then settled down this strike calmly peacefully and lived happily so hope you must have understood this chapter i'll be providing you the homework please do your homework on time and submit on time okay thank you class thank you for learning on best montessori distance learning e portal see you in next english class very soon till then bye all of you